Awakening uh, is my first work for the company since I took over as artistic director. Certainly I think some of the context of the work is about that. I think it's about me absorbing just the role that I'm in. You know, even the desk in my office is Mr. Ailey's old desk. Some of the things that Sylvia Waters has given me belong to him and with so many people like Judith Jamison and Masazumi Chaya who love him. And of course, being in this role, he's always on my mind. What I tell the dancers is the first section, which almost sounds like a siren call, I think of it as it's the moment right after Mr. Ailey's death. Not literally, but internally, the way I feel about it. Losing that physical being and then the chaos that ensues after something like that. And so it starts with the dancers running in the upstage corner and then sharply turning and running the other way. I think about different images. I think of 9-11. I think of some of the images of people running away from the buildings but not quite sure where they were running to and darting in the, in the intersections and, and all of those kind of images I think of in the first section. And then they keep coming back to this clump in the center of the stage, which to me represents the community coming together because this is the only way they'll survive. The Jamar Roberts character, the lead character, is born out of the womb of the community, which is the group. The cord is him attached to the group and then being born back into the group and out. And in some ways, it represents a leader being born out of the chaos. I think anybody that leads, it's not as simple as, oh yeah, I'd love to do that. There's a sense of fear around that. And so that's why the Jamar character keeps coming back into the fold. That's kind of the conundrum that keeps happening in the first section. I chose Jamar Roberts as the lead in the dance because he's a giant of a man, but in all of that power that you see, there's a vulnerability to his dancing, that he's able to house both of those qualities in one body. The quality of the leader that I was depicting is both things as well. That sense of, sure, I can take this and move it forward but also, but I'm a little nervous about it. That's real to me. On this canvas, he's able to depict strength and fear. To me, that equates courage. I see that in his dancing. I see that in this character. I see that in this work. Then the second section, he's now outside of that. And so there starts his right, sort of like Right of Spring, the Chosen One. And basically I'm building a folk dance. You see the elements of it building as each repetition happens, dancers keep adding on. Then they circle him by the end, and there's a motion where he keeps pulling down these contractions. And then he pulls it down into himself, and then he expels it out at the end. And that's the final moment and that's the birth of the awakening. So to me, awakening is like a crack in the Earth's atmosphere. It's about light coming in, and all of a sudden, everything is clear, but only for a brief time, and then it closes again.